go. I'm piecing this little by liter. Um, what if the monster we see in the intro, those are the magic stones above his head, right? Like, there, there's like circular things behind the monster in the intro. So, yeah, so what if, yeah, what if they're, the Midnight Sun is trying to return that monster? Or, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're not going to do it. They did it, bro. Give them a hundred points or something. Yes, yeah, so what is going to be next? Wait. Wait, I thought he was already healed. Ah, uh, hey, douche. Douche, douche, douche. douche. <laughs> and Charm is eating. And Vanessa's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, right, Gordon! Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that is sad. Come on. He did get like completely kind of Wow. He had no souvenir, nothing. <laughs> So I wonder what Gordon's power is going to be. If he's very subtle with his voice, maybe his power is sound, you know? So, maybe the next adventure of Gordon's going to come. Yeah. Shocking. What about Gordon? Um. Yeah. That is true. He's already found two stones. Huh. Wow, it's just as crazy big as ever! Shut up. Okay, Finral, thanks for giving us a ride. Huh? We'll see you when it's time to head back. Hey! That's not fair! I want to meet the Wizard King! <laughs> My I dude is in the wrong anime. <laughs> so they did send someone to retrieve the stone from the temple. And you said that he was a member of the third eye? That's right, the one they call Better the Despair. Sounds like a fitting title. We'll examine the body 
Oh my god! I love her! Damn, so he made him captain when he was really young. You've done well. I'm so proud of the amazing Magic Knight captain you've become. Truly. Yo, I wonder if there's some, um... Sexual chemistry here. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it, but I'm just saying. They got googly eyes for each other, the way they're just staring at each other. The way they're proud of each other. It's almost like, yeah, dude, I don't know how to say it, but, you know, Yami Wizard King? Okay. Are you gonna give him a point? Wow. I'm suspicious of him. The fact that he's got his hair down, we can't see his ears, he's probably the traitor. It's gotta be him. Alright. Holy crap. Okay. Three of the eight shining generals. Eight shining, shining generals. They're the eight most powerful people in the whole diamond. Oh. You might think of them as being kind of like our magic knight. Whoa. That's super not good. Worse. Kaiser Celestia are ordered in this. If we lose him, he's wide open to a side of the Okay. And that... I was just talking about this. Oh. Dude is a lady. Lady's a dude. God, penis. This is Prox. I wonder if this is something smart to do, you know? Prepare yourselves! The Diamond Kingdom is attacking! On your order as Magic Knights, prevent their invasion at any cost! Sir! Deploy the Magic Barrier! 
Because, like, you know, the Diamond Kingdom can attack while, you know, um, they're occupied fighting the Magic Council. I mean the Magic Council. <laughs> Wrong show. Uh, the Midnight Sun. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It's about to get real. Yo, Dignate. I really hope that we get a different scenario here, and I really hope well, the Golden Dawns came. Who came? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Let, let's see a different perspective. Yes! I love this. I love this. Let's see, you know, you knows. Squad, let's let's get to learn their character and, and their personalities and their power. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Let's go. <laughs> you fool! So he's trying not to be reliant on his familiar? Interesting. Wow. You gotta love his personality. So oozing of charisma. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Why is she annoying? Why is it that all the female characters are just desperate for dick? Is that their traits? 
Yeah, can you write a female character that's not all about that? Aside from Charmy, and Gray is just shy. Whatever. Uh, Mimosa. I don't even know who the hell that guy is. I already forgot. There was that fat guy. And then there was the leader with the mask. Or the captain. Man, I love to see his powers, too. Touche. Really? Are you sure? Your squad only just returned from the underwater temple. Shit, I can handle it. Hell, right now I'm feeling damn near invincible. Besides, there's somebody I've been meaning to oh! Well, in that case, I gladly accept your offer. I just wish I could go with you. I don't know why he can't come. <laughs> oh, right, official lovely lady sighting. Hey there. I found the most beautiful girls in town. Care for a drink? Captain Yummy. Please take me with you, sir. We can't do anything. Even if I can't fight, maybe I can help evacuate people. What? I do want him to rack up some battlefield experience. This is kind of dangerous. Someone with your injuries would only hold me back. So yeah. Charmy's coming? What? Oh, she just wants to come because of you now. Never mind, right? You don't want dick to- I mean, wait, that would- What? Charmy wants dick, too! Oh my god. So there is not one female character. That doesn't want dick. My, wow. Very impressive. Tearing the enemy apart. But he's only going to get stronger. It's hard to believe a commoner has come so far within our ranks when he hasn't even been with us a year. His progress is staggering. Now, what do you say we go out there and join our newest recruit, Longris? Longris? Ooh. Oh my god! I did it! I finally got to the end of season one. Oh my god. Yo, Black Clover is one of the first shows I started reacting to, or animes shows that I started reacting to, um, in the beginning of it all. You know, like, way, like, what, two, three years ago. And I had a feeling this show was about to, like, you know, get big. I, I had a feeling it was going to become, like, one of the... Not best animes, but at least definitely favorited animes. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, it's an anime I've been wanting to binge and watch, and I want to been you know been wanting to react to it. And I'm glad I I cut up, um, or at least catching up. I still got another season to go, and then whatever new episodes there is available. Baby steps, I guess. <laughs> so I like the transition that we are going through now with the Diamond Kingdom coming to you know attack. Our heroes, the Clover Kingdom, whatnot. Um, I love the little segue of, okay, let's, let's breathe away from the Midnight Sun. You know, if anything, let the Midnight Sun recuperate and, and overthink things before we see them again. More likely in the next Magic Stone arc, right? And I also like the segue of spending time with the Golden Dawn. Spending more time with Juno and Mimosa and their captains, their leaders, whatever. So at least we can get a more transitional uh, moments of their personalities, their powers, and how they work together. We just saw the Black Bulls team together. 
Now, are we going to see that in the Golden Dawns, or are they just going to be so recluse and I don't care about working together? It's all about just defeating the enemy, you know? So I just I can't wait to see the mindset of of that group. So, all right, that about wraps up my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, I want the power, the fortune power, and fame fortune But I'm running in the marathon with a torch in the rain I'm just a pawn in the game, the they're taking the off with his brain I'm going insane, losing my mind losing my the mind. illusion of time And this life is up to you to decide I'm gassed up, yup, Jupiter high Self-esteem gets my train of thought rolling Now this logo's in motion